Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are learning how to decrease your iCloud backup size. Now, by default, Apple gives you five gigabytes of iCloud storage space, which you can use to sync apps across your devices, you can use it to back up your devices, so on and so forth. What we can do here though is we can actually choose what iCloud will back up because sometimes the default backup is way too big to even fit in that five gigabytes of space that Apple gives you for free. So what we're gonna do here is go into our settings app and once you're in settings, you wanna just scroll down till you see iCloud. Go ahead and tap on that. At the bottom of the iCloud page here, you want to tap on storage and backup. That'll take us to this page where it will actually show us our total storage, which is five gigabytes in my case, and our available storage, which is one gigabyte in my case. If you tap on manage storage, it will take you to another page where you see your devices under iCloud backups and also different apps that store documents and data over iCloud. Now you can manage these here by tapping on them and you can go in here and edit and delete that data. Now that will remove the data from all of the devices. So this data right here is actually syncing between my iPhone and my iPad. So I, I don't wanna mess with that. But what we do wanna mess with is inside of our device backups right here. So find your device, tap on the device. Now towards the bottom, you'll see a list of apps. If you tap on show all apps here, you will see a longer list of every app that is using data for iCloud backups. As you can see here, my backup size right now is 3.9 gigabytes, but I've seen it much higher than that before to where it wouldn't fit in the free space that Apple gives me. What this allows us to do is to turn off specific apps for iCloud backup. Now this isn't going to delete the app from your device, or the data that's stored locally on your device, it's only going to delete it from iCloud so that it will not be backed up in the future and consume some of the space here. Now, as you can see here, my camera roll consumes 3.2 gigabytes of space in this iCloud backup. And I really don't have a need for my camera roll to be backed up because I automatically sync it with Dropbox. Now, that may not be the case for you, but for me, I can go ahead and turn this off. Once you turn off the toggle, you'll see this message here that says, do you want to turn off camera roll backups and delete the backup data from iCloud? So if I hit turn off and delete, it's not going to delete my photos from my phone, but it's going to delete that data in the iCloud backup. So after I turn that off, you can see that it actually took my backup size down to 694 megabytes. That's actually plenty of space now. I don't have to worry about turning anything else off, but you can also turn off other apps here as well. You have a large list and it sorts them by size. Let's see, AppStar is actually taking up 169 megabytes of iCloud backup space. If I don't wanna use iCloud to back up AppStart's data, I can go ahead and turn that off and tap on turn off and delete. It actually allows you to decrease your backup size and make room for more devices to be backed up through iCloud. I find this to be a very helpful feature because more than likely you don't need all of these apps data to be backed up to iCloud. I don't know if it's necessary. Some may be more than others and you can make the decision for yourself. And it's also important to note that iCloud will only automatically back up your data when your phone is locked, plugged in, and connected to Wi-Fi. From here on out, all of your iCloud backups will only include the apps that you have enabled or disabled in the settings here. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching. I hope this is helpful. My name is Dom, and have a great day. <laughs>